Welcome back to our series in Yahusha's Call. I tell you, we got one here for you, the fourth of the series called Yahua Has Glorified Thee. And I pray you're in that number. And he can glorify you. Uh, we're going to move right along. I don't want to waste time because I have a lot to share with you. I want to tell you uh, one of the ways he's going to glorify us, and we're going to get to the end of our, our series, is that he is going to put an end to Edom, to the Edomites. And let me, let me just read one scripture, and then we're going to go and find out what glorifying us really means. Not only uh, is it a salvation, of course, and, and deliverance, uh, from this world that's going to become uh, so chaotic in the great tribulation. We're going to be in, in the beginning of it, but we're not going to be in the, the, uh, after the fifth and the sixth seal and trumpet. And I have to teach you on that one day. In fact, I, I, I will try to make sure that on next month I will do a series uh, about where we stand in, in as far as the book of Revelation is concerned. So tune in to that. Uh, but let's read our first scripture. I did read it in the last uh, segment. I'm going to read it again. Isaiah 55, 5, where it says, Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knoweth not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of thy Yah, and for the Holy One of Yisrael, for he hath glorified thee. And uh, uh, many people look at this, call a nation that thou knoweth not. Uh, if you don't understand about nations and what it means to be a Gentile, I think I explained a little bit in the last series, but let me read over this again uh, to you what a Gentile is. A Gentile, uh, uh, according to the Blue Letter Bible, is uh, uh, a heathen. It denotes firstly a multitude or company, then a multitude of people of the same nature or genus, a nation, a people. It is used in the singular form. Remember, there's two, these, these are forms, okay, of the Jews, which is not correct. It's really not, a, 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 the word Jews is not really a legitimate word. It should be Yaudi, Yauda or Yaudi, but we'll say Jews for now. In plural, it's nations, okay? In Hebrew, the newer rendition of the Hebrew, not the Paleo, paleo uh, it's Goyim, Goyim uh, or other than Israel, which is something that came up later. It's not really a legitimate word in Hebrew, the real Hebrew. But anyway, we'll use it for now since they have it listed there. Um, the um, point that we're making now is the glory that is to come and is really already in here among his people that we glorify him and that we also will be glorified. Now, like, let's explain that to you. Uh, in Isaiah 60, verse 1 through 2, arise, shine, it says, for thy light is come. And we talked about that in the second of the series. And the glory of Yahuwah is risen upon thee. This is also what I was talking about in the last series about the Gentiles and who they are and how there is a split between the non-Israelite Gentiles and the Gentiles that lived as, I mean, the uh, Israelites who live as Gentiles, all right? So here it goes on to say that arise and shine for thy light is come. And we know that is Yahusha, Yahua, our salvation. And the glory of Yahua is risen upon thee. Who is thee? Israel. Sorry for yelling, but I have to make that plain because everybody is trying to be <laughs> Israel, but you can't. Israel is Israel. If I wasn't an Israelite, if I wasn't a Yehudi, I would still serve him with my whole heart, mind, spirit, and soul. And so should you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Behold, look out. Watch. It's going to happen. It's going to be darkness that's going to cover the earth. Gross darkness. He's talking about darkness of the mind. He's talking about there's going to be such a darkness, so little understanding, no light in. See, there's, where there's no knowledge, there's no light. I'm not talking about knowledge of this world that's going to pass away. I'm talking about knowledge of the truth of the word of Yahuwah. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. 
but Yahuwah, oh, come on now, shall arise upon you, thee. This is the greatness of being a part of his glory in these dark days. We are facing them now. We're involved in them now. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. When? Right in the midst of the gross blindness and darkness of this world. We will be, have no need to be the, 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 the lights in, in, in where we, when, we're, when we're with him in that great place where the, where the sun is the light. Where, well, I won't say the sun, where Yahuwah is the light. Where the lamb is the light. You know why we're going to be standing out apart? Because we've come out from among them and the spirit, the Ra'uka Kadesh, has lit upon us like he did Yahusha. And we will stand apart and glorify Yahuwah as his people. He's going to rise on us. And his glory, when he does this, is even now it's happening, it's being seen. Because if you don't think you're living in gross darkness, let me tell you, that's, where you, that's your address, gross darkness. The only way you can move off that street is to accept, receive, and be received by Yahushua. Amashiach. Romans 11, 7. What then? Yesareel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election has obtained it. The called apart ones, the, the ones whose name is written in the book of life, they have attained it. They're not waiting to attain it. We have attained it. It's the glory of the Ra'uk HaKadosh. We have attained it. The majority of my, and I'm sorry to say of my Israelite sisters and brothers, will not have their name written. It's only a remnant. I'm praying I'm talking to you right now, and you're aware of that. He said that they shall see out of obscurity. Let me read it again. And the eyes of the blind, we read this, we're talking about blindness in the, the other uh, uh, program, shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. So though it's dark all around us, we are going to see what's going on, not only in this natural, wicked world. We're going to see in the spirit realm, which we see now. And this isn't to make you feel like you're so muchy much, but this is what we have to do in order to survive until those angels come in for us. Jeremiah 31, 7 to 9, which is the cap, the cap scripture. For thus saith Yahuwah, sing with gladness for Jacob, Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Yahuwah, save thy people. The remnant, did you hear that word? The remnant. That ain't everybody. The remnant of Yisrael. He's always talking to Yisrael. Did you notice that? Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coasts of the earth. And with them, the blind, and we talked about that earlier, how Yahusha has come and he has given us now light. However, you can be in, you can see a light even if you're in the prison cell. You need to come out of there and be set free. And then don't stay in the jailhouse. Move outside the jailhouse, please. He will, from the coast of the earth, and them that are blind and lame, the woman with child, and her that travaileth with child together. A great company shall return thither, there, 
They shall come with weeping and with supplications. Will I lead them? I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in the straight way wherein they shall not stumble. He's talking about us and now. For I am a father to Yesareel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. One of the ways that we're seeing the glory of Yahuwah on us is the knowledge of who we are as his people and learning how to walk uncursed, and I'm going to do a series on that, in a cursed land. Let me give you something about those who have oppressed us. We call them the Edomites. It says in Revelation 12, 3, and I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curse thee. So at this time, we have, as a nation, as a people, been cursed in the land of our captivity. Treated less than human in many instances throughout the decades, throughout the years. Some worse than others. Some better than others. That's why they're asleep. And in thee shall all families of what? The earth be blessed. He, who and who? In the Israelites. Wow. Revelation 9, 3. And there came out of the smoke locusts, these are spirits upon the earth, and unto them was given power as scorpions of the earth to have power. And people are looking for big scorpions to walk around. No, you're talking about something you cannot see that's going to do you great damage. It's happening now. They got diseases. They can't find out what in the world it is and why these why they are suffering the way they are. Proverbs 13, 13. Whosoever despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Romans 9, 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, or Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Edomites have been enemies of the uh, Israelites since day one, since Esau decided to sell his heritage to, to Jacob and then wanted to kill him <laughs> after it came to pass. It's a spirit. And it's roaming this earth now. Who is in charge of this world? Edomites. You don't see that? Deuteronomy 37 and 7. And Yahuwah thy Yah will put these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And it has begun already. You can look around you and open your eyes and you'll see it. Lamentations 4.16. Let's read a little bit more about what's going to happen to the enemies of Yah's people. Because everybody's thinking Israel over there across the water. Those are not Israelites. Those are Ashkenazi Jews, all right? Lamentations 4.16, the anger of Yahuwah hath divided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests. They favored not the elders. These are those uh, Israelites, first of all, before we get to eat them. These are the Israelites who live. Abom abominable lives. They live according to the heathen or the Gentile. Okay, race. Lamentations 417. But as for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. You've been watching a long time. You've been Im implementing laws. You've been implementing all kinds of, uh, 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 we call it, um, uh, Groups, you've implemented groups like the NAACP and Black Lives Matter and all uh, 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 Negro funds and all these things have not brought you what it promised to bring you. And of course, the land you're living in is only giving you so much. They're only going to take you so far. Because in their eyes, you're still substandard stock, you see. They don't understand that you're the Yaz people. 
And so therefore, even in their ignorance, they must be cursed. Now, you're going to get cursed right along with them, you see, because if you don't believe what Yah says is true, and you don't study to know who he's talking to, then you're going to be caught up in, in it too. And I am trying to help you. Believe you me. Lamentations 4.18 says, they hunt our steps. You can't hardly go out and get a hamburger no more if you're a young black man. You'll get pulled over for some stupid reason, and you could be shot to death on the spot. Woman, too. And it's not all about the police officers. Some of the very nice police officers. I've met a few. So I'm not trying to rip off the whole police department. There are some, some uh, well-behaved, caucasoid, and there are some ugly uh, Israelite police officers. I've seen them, too. So we don't want to judge it that way because uh, if we do, we could miss a blessing. Okay? Don't do that. But I just want you to know as far as we're concerned, the Israelites are concerned, we don't know. We go out just for no reason. We may not make it back in to our homes, especially our young people. We have to pray for our young people. But anyway, so he says they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Isn't that true? Our end is near. Our days are what fulfilled. I taught that on the last program. I said the day of the Gentiles is fulfilled, but see, you're looking at it from a foreign, foreign perspective. You have no idea that we as Israelites have been Gentiles and now have come into now the light. It says our persecutors in Lamentations 4.19, the very next verse, our persecutors are swifter than the eagles, aren't they though? The American ball eagle, you know about him? You know about the eagle over at Rome? This is just an extension of Rome here in the Americas. We're just an extension of Rome here. And Rome had democracy. Greece had democracy. And what, did, what, did, what was the, the main things about these, these democracies? Slavery. Women couldn't vote. Only a select few could vote. That's democracy. But see, people don't study, so they don't know that. So you get out in the street and march and so we want to vote. Well, you remember, you're in a democracy, demonocracy. Look up that video I, I do, and I'll explain more on that. Just type in demon-ocracy. It'll come up. Or just put my name in there. All right, so they're swifter than eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. Where do we go? We go high or low. There they are looking to find something wrong and persecute us. And the next verse, 20th verse, it says, The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of Yahuwah, was taken in their pits of slavery, of demonization, of degradation, of whom we said under his shadow we shall live among the heathen. That's what you've been doing. You've been living under the shadow of the heathen. Even after the Emancipation so-called proclamation, which really didn't fully set you free at all, you still have been living under the wings of this eagle of the Roman Empire called the United States of America, your land of your captivity, and don't you ever forget that. Romans 4, I mean, Lamentations 4, the 21st verse. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Mm -hmm. that dwelleth in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. Oh, yeah, you go ahead and party now because, honey, the end is coming. That's what he's saying. You hear me? Rejoice. Be glad because right now it's all in your favor. <laughs> oh, yeah, we give that to you. Oh, daughter of Edom. These are generations. He ain't, he ain't talking about Edom himself, Esau. He's talking about his, his descendants. Now he's talking about one of, you know, a daughter of Edom. Oh, boy, high ranking, the, the most beautiful, voluptuous, the, the money and the houses and the trips and, and the vacations and all. It's like everything's going well. Hey, get on with your rejoice. Come on. Because mm -hmm. it ain't going to last long. Not much longer at all. So go ahead and rejoice, O daughters of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of us, far away from Yah as you can be. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. In other words, you're going to get your portion. 
You're going to get what's coming to you. Thou shalt be drunken. When this hits you, you're going to be amazed. And shall make thyself naked. They're doing that now. <laughs> they ain't got to be drunk. Most of the time you go out the street, they're naked. Next verse, 22, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me now? O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee in, away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, which he did through your Usha. O daughter of Edom, though, he will discover thy sins. So he's going to rescue, all right? He's going to put to, he's going to blot out the iniquity of Israel or Israel. He says Zion here. However, there is a price to be paid by Edom. Oh, daughter, he's going to discover your sin. And see, when y'all discovers a sin, he has to punish it because he's, He's righteous. That's why if he hadn't sent Yahusha, we'd all have to be punished. None of us could stand. And we have to, though, accept him and be accepted by him. We always talk about accept the, the uh, JC and, and be saved. No, 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 no. You also have to be accepted of him. You got to know that. Well, I have faith that he has. Yeah, but you got to know that. You better know it Some, somewhere between the time you pray that prayer and, and sometime in, in that near future, you better know that you have been redeemed. And you know how you're going to know? Because your ways are going to change. Where you think is going to change. That's how you're going to know. You'll know them by the fruit they bear. Not by the tongues they speak. Not by the dance they do. Not by the loud music they play. Not by the loud preaching they do. By their fruit. The last scripture for the evening, Jeremiah 31, 7 to 9. For thus saith Yahuwah, sing with gladness for Jacob, shout among the chief of the nations, publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Yahuwah, save thy people, the remnant of Yisrael. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth. And with them the blind and the lame, the woman, the child, and travaileth and the child together. Great companies shall return thither. They shall come with weeping, supplications. Will I lead them? I will cause them to walk in the rivers uh, of waters in a straight way. Born again, born again. Thank Yah. I'm born again, born again, born again. Thank y'all. I'm born again. Goodbye, world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I've made up my mind to go y'all's way for the rest of my life. I made up my way, made up my mind to go y'all's way for the rest of my life. That has to be your heart. Goodbye, world. Hello, Yahua. I know I'm born again. I am an Israelite who is born again. I am a Yehudi who has been born again. It's not enough for me to have the knowledge. I must have the spirit that I might what? Be glorified. Arise. Shine. Come on now, for your light has come, Yehudi. Wake up out there. It's time to magnify him, that you would glorify him in your living. Glorify him in your careers and whatever you're doing that is upstanding and godly, godliness and holy set apart is what will bring glory, to be strong in him and to his knowledge, to be strong in him, Yahuwah, in his wisdom and in his revelation, to know who you are, to know to whom you belong. Walk 
as the children of Yesareel that have been filled with the Ra'uka Kadesh. Show the world who he is by what you do. That men and women, boys and girls, come to his light and be saved. Come to be saved because of the glory that he has imparted unto you. Yahuwah has glorified you for such a time as this. Do you understand? I hope you do. Come out and be separate, saith Yahuwah. I'm going to stop there. This is a four-part series. I pray if you haven't heard part one, two, and three, you will go back and listen to them. The first one being blind from birth. The second, awake, your light has come. Third, time of the Gentiles fulfilled. And this one, yours truly, Yahuwah has glorified thee. All right, until next time, go with Yah. Why? He goes with you. Take care. Bye-bye.